Hey guys, it's Cody Near here with the Bucks Brand Shopify Academy, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up a dynamic product ad with the feature of targeting individuals who've added something to cart but abandoned the cart. And just the background again so, a dynamic product ad it's going to help you re engage a user who's already shown interest in a specific product on your website. And uh, what that means is imagine that a potential customer just left that abandoned cart on your shopping cart on your website. They browsed your product, they added them uh, those products to the cart, but they didn't purchase. That means they added to cart, but did not purchase. But the reality is, this is the in individual who has shown they have the closest um, intent to buy. They've given you the exact, everything you need to know as a store owner, that these individuals want this product, and they were really close to actually buying it. The good thing is, is that that user's information is going to be stored inside your Shopify cart. Their website, their user uh, information is stored. Uh, when they visit your site again, it's going to still show that they have a product in the cart. All of you guys probably have seen this. You visit a website, you add it to cart, you leave that website, you come back, and there's a product in the cart. You're like, hey, how did it know I had that product in the cart? That's what it's doing. It's it's caching, essentially, that you've added that product to the cart. And they already know that you want to purchase that, so here's how we leverage that. Here's how we're going to take the visitor who left your site, and now um, what what's happened is they forgot that they added it to cart. They you know wanted to buy that product, but they essentially forgot uh, that you know hey I was going to go buy that. So let's just do this. A few hours after somebody visited your website, they left it. You target them with a specific ad reminding them of the product that they forgot to purchase. Uh, they see it. They remembered you know hey I really want that. So they returned to their abandoned cart and they complete the purchase isn't that the goal of what we want to accomplish right so uh, what are we gonna do and how we're we gonna get that done here is how I'm gonna show you guys how I set this up for my brand bucks of America at bucks of to uh, set up an abandoned added to cart but did not purchase a dynamic product ad. first you're gonna go to create campaign once you go to create campaign, I'm going to start over, but once you go to create campaign, you're going to click catalog sales. Now, assuming you have your catalog set up from Shopify, you're going to click catalog sales. You're going to uh, label this campaign name, um, added to cart, ATC, no purchase. And now we know that the, this campaign that we're running, retargeting campaign, is someone who's added to cart and did not purchase. Click continue, and we're going to go where the product set. So it's telling us that here's the product set that I added. This is the catalog that we choose. Here's my catalog ID number, 749 products, as you can see, from Bucks pulling into this catalog. So I'm clearly going to click that catalog. It's going to choose all 749 products on my website. And we're going to go where it says um, viewed or added to cart but not purchased. If you wanted to add that extra feature where they simply viewed the product, um, you can surely do that, but we're going to click added to cart, not purchased right there. And you can surely change this 28 days to, you know, 30 days, make it a month, or you can change it to seven days. If you want to get super uh, targeted, you can change it to three days. You can even change it to one day. Someone who's added to cart in the last day and uh, did not purchase. And you can create different ads uh, based on, you know, how long ago that they added that product to the cart and, and forgot to buy uh, go down to the placements, let it stay at automatic placements, our budget daily, you only have to set your budget up for a daily budget for around $20. Um, that's going to give you enough budget to make sure that you capture, get enough impressions on those individuals who added their product to the cart and abandoned. Keep it a conversion event, a seven day click, so that means we're optimizing for purchase. That's what we want to happen, our end goal is we want that person to come back from this ad and make a purchase. And we're going to click continue. And we're coming down to the ad. So we're going to choose our Facebook page. I'm going to choose Bucks of America. Keep my Instagram tag. Uh, this is surely an option. If you have very few products um, in your website, what you can do is you can just use single image. And what that's going to do is it's only going to pull in one product. 
Now, let's say someone comes to your website and they add three products in. You can leverage the carousel feature and it's going to pull in all three of those products. Let's just choose single image for now. And let's scroll down. Now, here's where we get creative. So it's pulling in that one product for the dynamic product ad. Uh, we're going to go to carousel so we can see multiple products. And I want to show you guys. We're going to go down here to where it says text for our ad. And the really cool thing about dynamic product ads is if you click this plus sign, it's going to ask you uh, or it's going to give you options to enter things dynamically. That means uh, it's going Facebook is going to know exactly what they are. So, for instance, if we just click, you know, price, it'll add that price to what you see here, which is in the title of the product. It'll add the price to our ad up top so it shows the price there so creatively thinking dynamic product ad they've added to cart and didn't purchase we could go here and or we can run our ad and let's say um, we'll go in front of this price feature here we'll say uh, hey did you forget to buy now only and it's going to pull in that price so as you'll see on the right side screen over here hey did you forget to buy now it's only $22.99 and if you want to get even more creative and create incentive for them to buy you can say plus add a 10 percent off using code Awesome. Hey, by the way, we have hats and hoodies. Give them a little extra incentive, a little thing to spark their interest. So now what's happening is we've created our text. This is what every person who adds a product to cart and did not purchase, this is what they're going to see uh, in the Facebook ad. So, hey, did you forget to buy? Now it's only $22.99, um, and I misspelled plus, $22.99, plus add a 10% off, uh, off code using awesome at checkout and they're gonna say oh cool and what's gonna happen is this is the exact same copy uh, that's gonna pull into your customer potential customers uh, Facebook feed every single time the thing that's going to change is the product it's gonna be the product that they chose and that they added to the cart and uh, did not purchase down here where it says see more URL what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that out we're gonna add the um, the cart feature so if you're in your website I'm going to go over here to uh, bucksup.com, and uh, I know you guys don't see it in the browser, but um, let's just go uh, to hats. As you see right now, it says zero in cart. Uh, we'll just come over here to this Indiana State Outline hat. We're going to click add to cart, and you'll see this thing will turn to one, product one in the cart. Add that bad boy to cart. Okay, cool. There's my upsell, which is awesome. Um, and now it shows add to cart. So this uh, add to cart URL, someone clicks the checkout. Here's the cart option. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to copy this add to cart URL. So the URL that's in right now my website, it's uh, bucksup.com forward slash cart. So it's not, um, you know, it's not crazy. It's not some big crazy uh a long bunch of numbers or anything. It's super simple. It's your website.com forward slash cart for Shopify. So we'll go back to our ad. We're going to paste that in there. And that's the URL that people are going to see. As we go down, you'll see that it's pulling in the headline. This is your headline. It's pulling in the product name, which is great. You can change that. You can say uh, whatever you want. You can put, um, you know, uh, we don't want it to pull in uh, something random. So you can just say um, uh, bucks of America. Uh, say your business name or something. And down here where it says News Leak Feed Description, all sorts of uh, catalog fields that you can pull in. It's pulling in the price. Um, so someone could say, you know, say um, use code for discount today. 
Um, and that's it. And where it says the call to action, you want them to click uh, uh, shop now. And you can again add the um, boxofcom forward slash cart. So for your store, the forward slash cart is awesome. And that is it. Now we're going to go down here to click the word confirm. And that is your entire added to cart dynamic product ad where you have add to cart did not purchase. Let me go over here and show you what that looks like in real time for my business. And that again is an ad I set up uh, right in front of you, but I'm going to show you what's actually running for my company right now. And I'll show you what that ad looks like. So here's my uh, Bucks of America dynamic product ad uh, added to cart no purchase last 30 days. Uh, I'll open this bad boy up for you guys and let you see. Um, I just uh, just changed this by the way, but uh, my budget 20 bucks. Like I said, I have my placement. There's my product set. Uh, I have everything. Like I said, I have viewed and added to cart, not purchased. Um, I typically like someone if they viewed a product, I'll categorize them together. Um, I have my placements down there. You can use automatic again. Uh, my edit my placements. Sometimes uh, I'm testing right now, just doing the Facebook feed and Instagram. Um, so I'll show you what this ad looks like, and. Uh, as you see, it's 20% off. It's a carousel ad. I had single image running, testing both. So there's my pages. Uh, there's my ad with multiple images in the carousel. And down here is what my ad looks like. Wait, we want to give you 20% off when you use checkout code BOFA20. Three day shipping turnaround. So I've given them a hey, you forgot. Here's a discount code to incentivize them. Another thing that says we're going to get this to you really fast, and then it's going to dynamically pull in this product and show them exactly what's in their cart. There's my text ad right there. And that's as simple as it is. As you see, it says uh, see more. It says bucksof.com. And down here, uh, it's pulling in my pixel. And what's going to happen is they click this, come to the website, uh, regardless of having that uh, forward slash cart, when someone visits your website and they've already added it to the cart and they're already pixeled, they're already tracking, they're cached, they're automatically going to come back to your website. Their product's going to be in the cart ready to purchase. What we can do though, uh, when you have that uh, forward slash cart feature like this, um, it's going to pull them into the cart and the cart's going to look like that. So they're going to come back, click the ad, and it's going to take them right to the cart. And man, how awesome and easy is that to have somebody come to your website uh, who has added it to cart and then you send them right here. All they got to do is, you know, start paying for the product. Pretty cool, right? Well, I appreciate you guys watching the video and I hope you guys uh, found value in this. If you're looking for more, join the Bucks Brand Shopify Academy Facebook group and uh, I know you guys will enjoy the value there. See you guys.